Hello Saints and hello to you future Saints. In uh, today's study we're going to answer the question what are eight differences between the rapture and the second coming of our Lord Christ Jesus. Now there's many more than eight but for the sake of time I picked just eight differences between the two. So with your King James Bibles in hand let's dig right in digging in using right division rightly dividing God's Word to uncover the truth. And before we start, let me say one thing, if I may. You know, I've been putting uh, scriptures up on the screen during my videos, and it's for those who might not have a King James Bible, or perhaps your position right now doesn't allow you to make, you know, have a Bible. Whatever the case, it's important to get your hands on a King James Bible, especially these days, because I foresee a time in the near future when a King James may be illegal to own or it may be extremely hard to find in the stores and probably removed from the internet so on and so on so you know the enemy hates the King James Bible because it's the only Bible that contains zero errors no contradictions at all and that cannot be said for the newer versions they all have problems with them I recommend you get uh, get rid of them if you have a newer version just Go ahead and buy yourself a King James, get rid of the newer versions, burn them, destroy them. They're like cancer to God's word, a virus that's spreading and it's only, you know, its only goal is to destroy the truth of God's word, to water it down, okay, to corrupt it, to remove scripture, to add to scripture and to keep people confused and the truth hidden. That's just my opinion, but... I'll tell you that uh, you know it's an opinion based on 33 years of experience with the Bible you know I'm 45 right now and I got saved at a very young age I was 12 I was very fortunate and all the glory to Jesus Christ for that and uh, you know I've seen a lot of attacks on the King James so that tells me there's power in the King James and someone doesn't like it so alright back to our study today eight differences between the rapture and the second coming of our Lord Jesus the first difference we see right off the bat is where Christ will meet believers when these th when these events take place okay at the rapture the body of Christ will meet the Lord in the air if we look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 through 17 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now at the second coming, Jesus comes down to the earth, to the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, sending forth his angels to gather the believers and unbelievers now you can get uh, some details on that in another video I made called uh, well part one and part two Matthew 24 wheat and tares the ones taken ones left behind and also another video I called uh, who are the elect in Matthew 24 verse 31 okay so getting back to our question where does Christ meet believers we've just seen that Christ meets believers in the air at the rapture okay now more about the second coming in Zechariah chapter 14 verse 2 and 4 for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle and the city shall be taken and the houses rifled and the women ravished <clears throat> and half of the city shall go forth into captivity and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle and his feet shall stand in the in that day upon the Mount of Olives which is before Jerusalem on the east and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and towards the west and there shall be a very great valley and half of the mountain shall be removed towards the north and half of it towards the south now question two the second difference 
is who are the difference between the rapture and the second coming is who removes the people from the earth in the rapture compared to the second coming now in the rapture Christ comes himself to catch away believers out of the world look at 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 through 17 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord at the second coming Jesus sends his angels to gather the wicked for judgment in Matthew 13 verses 41 and 42 the Son of Man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all the things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into the furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth in Matthew 13 49 we see so shall it be at the end of the world the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and in Matthew 24 38 through 41 for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating they were drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be then shall two be in the field the one shall be taken and the one le and the other left two women shall be grinding at the mill the one shall be taken and the other left now the third difference between the two are between those who are taken from the earth and those who are left to remain on the earth now at the rapture believers are taken from the earth while unbelievers are left on the earth left behind for Daniel's 70th week we look at 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 17 then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord but at the second coming unbelievers the wicked are taken away from the earth and believers the saved are left on earth in Matthew 13 41 to 42 we see the Son of Man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all the things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire there's there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth in Matthew 13 49 and 50 we see so shall it be at the end of the world the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth believers are left to go into the earthly kingdom for the 1000 years of Christ Jesus' rule and reign now the fourth difference between the two is of when Jesus comes in relation to Daniel's 70th week in the rapture Jesus comes to rescue his body of believers before the hour of trial and testing and the wrath to come in 1st Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 10 we see and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead even Jesus which delivered us from the wrath to come now at the second coming we see Jesus comes after Daniel's seven-year week to inflict final punishment to conquer his enemies and to set up his rule over the world from Jerusalem in Matthew 24 verses 29 through 30 immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the Sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory in Daniel chapter 9 verses 26 through 27 
And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war desolations are determined. Verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate. Even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the the uh, desolate now the fifth difference between the rapture and the second coming is a difference in the number of signs given for each event the rapture there are no signs given which have to occur before the rapture can take place it's it's called imminency okay it could happen at any moment and we see that first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 for they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how ye turn to God from idols to serve the living and the true God and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead even Jesus which delivered us from the wrath to come in Philippians chapter 3 verses 20 to 21 for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. The second coming detailed signs are given that must take place before Christ will, will come back to planet earth. Many shall come in my name deceiving many, wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, famines, pestilence, plagues, earthquakes, murder, persecution of God's children, many will, be, will betray one another, false prophets shall deceive many, love will grow cold, gospel will be preached in all the world abomination of desolation flee Jerusalem great tribulation more false Christ immediately following the Sun goes dark the moon will not give her light stars will fall from the sky and they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds just like lightning flashing from the east to the west number six the difference of when judgment takes place in the rapture there is no judgment right before but there will be judgment the the judgment seat of Christ following our catching up unto our Lord Jesus in 1st Thessalonians uh, chapter 4 verse 16 through 18 we read for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. At the second coming, tribulation and judgment do take place. We see that in Zechariah chapter 14, verse 2 through 4. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the woman ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the, lo the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. And when he fought in the day of the, as when he fought in the day of battle, and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof towards the east and towards the west. And there shall be a, a, a very great valley and half the mountain shall remove towards the north and half of it will go towards the south. In Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 32 and 46, 
uh, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them from one another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And in verse 46, Matthew 25, verse 46, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. 7. The difference in the timing of the resurrections which take place. In the rapture, the, resurrections, the resurrection of the dead in Christ, though saved, whose bodies are uh, in the grave, happens the moment our Lord descends in the clouds and initiates the process of catching up his body unto himself. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 18, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, from the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead of Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive shall uh, remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. At the second coming, a resurrection of the righteous dead who died during the tribulation takes place only after Christ has descended to the earth. Plus, let's not forget the two witnesses who are raised up after three days of lying in the streets of Jerusalem then caught up to Christ Jesus. This happens in the middle of Daniel's week, 1260 days into the seven year tribulation, as some call it. Notice the order of events here in Revelation uh, 19 and Revelation 19, Revelation 20. Uh, I didn't write it down on, on the screen, but just listen the, the the descent of Christ, Christ slays his enemies. The Antichrist, the beast, and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire. Satan is bound and thrown into the pit. And finally, after all this, there's a resurrection of the saints, those who had not worshipped the beast or the image and had not taken his mark. They come back to life and reign with Christ for a thousand years. Number eight, the difference in the kind of bodies believers will possess. In the rapture were given glorified bodies. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 53, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immorality. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15 through 17, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord in Luke chapter 20 but they chapter 20 verse 35 to 36 but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage neither can they die anymore for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. At the second coming, believers who are alive and endure to the end, make it to the end of the seven-year week of Daniel, will enter the earthly kingdom and marry and bear children. They're going to repopulate the earth. In Isaiah chapter 65, verse 22 to 25, they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as in the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth uh, forth for trouble for they are the seed of the the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them and it shall come to pass 
that before they call I will answer and while they are yet speaking I will hear the wolf and the lamb shall feed together and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock and dust shall be the serpent meat they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain saith the Lord well those were the eight differences between the rapture and the second the second coming of Christ I hope this study has edified all of you and thank you for studying with me saints take care and have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on the next video